Today we're shining the spotlight on Dimension 6 Inc., another of these companies that put out great third-party products for use with Dungeons & Dragons in the early era of the game. Please stick around. I'm AZ Mountaineer, and this is our channel, Old School Rules, where we celebrate the community of old school gamers and grognards who like classic RPGs, miniatures, magazines, and everything that goes with it. On the Company Spotlight series, we take a close look at the history and products produced by one of the companies that was part of the hobby in this early era. And today, that's Dimension 6 Inc. from the state of Colorado. And in only two years of producing products for RPGs, they put out a number of products that really stand the test of time. We hope you enjoy the video. Today we're taking a look at a company called Dimension 6 Inc. Never heard of them before a couple of years ago when I started collecting some of these third-party products, and I haven't been able to find a lot of information about them. They weren't around for very long, but the products they produced really make it worth our while to take a closer look. As I mentioned, Dimension 6 Inc. is based in Colorado. Mark Simmons is the owner. I couldn't find information about anybody else who might have been a partner or otherwise involved in all of these products other than Mark. The cover art on these products is done by someone named Michael W. Carroll, and I think you'll agree with me when you take a look at this stuff today. The cover art is quite good. Now, Dimension 6 starts out as a board game company producing some sci-fi games. One was called uh, Second Empire, and another was called Direct Conflict in Dimension 6. Those came out in the late 70s. Then in 1980, they made a transition over into role-playing games. The first thing they did is called The Complete Fantasist it's by Mark Wagner. And this product, which is the size of a TSR adventure module, is basically a system conversion. So allowing you to convert your characters from Dungeons and Dragons to RuneQuest to Tunnels and Trolls, Ardune or whatever it might be. And it was designed very much a product of the time to help you move characters from one to the other, talking about things like what your characteristics uh, would switch to be how to deal with things like the hit rolls and saving throws and other spells, concepts, magic items as you move between, between companies. Another thing that they produce, which I haven't been able to find for my collection, are um, character sheets. Also in 1980, they put out a product called King of the Mountain, which is their third board game. This one designed for two to ten players and has a fantasy theme. They put out a trio of role-playing game products a man named Ken Richard. The first one is called Mountain of Mystery. It's followed by the Temple to Athena and the Town of Jordar. These three link together uh, an interesting campaign series that is designed for players of low to middle level. In 1980, uh, Randy Frazier creates a series called The Nine Doctrines of Darkness. And it's followed up the following year by one called The Second Adventure for the Nine Doctrines of Darkness. Short bit of background for this one. Uh, an ancient art, archmage uh, found artifacts of great evil and learned the secrets of evil were divided into nine different tenets. And he wrote a book about each and then hid them, disguised them as different types of objects. They've been spread around throughout the area uh, as the spell wears off the actual um, book is revealed and then each I, d I guess there were supposed to be nine of these adventures but we only have two each one is designed for your uh, party of heroes to go and recover one of these evil tomes okay so the final product they put out in 1980 is called Furioso and this is by Davy Davis it's inspired by an Italian book that he read called Orlando Furioso and this was a tournament module that was run at Genghis Khan 2, a convention in the Denver area. And he gives information in there not only about the adventure, but scoring and other things that went with running it as a tournament module. Here's a uh, list of all of their products. As I mentioned, three board games and then a number of role-playing game products. Uh, amazingly for me, these products, which are really, really good, are all put out in just a in just two years and uh, if, if I can tell you without hesitation that I would recommend if you have a chance to pick these up um, every one of them is a fantastic product so that's it for my review my company spotlight on Dimension 6 uh, a short-lived company that had uh, a lot of great products produced uh, during their tenure uh, I hope you're enjoying these videos I'm 
planning to do more company spotlights in the future. If there's any company in particular that you're curious about, let me know. If I have the products, I'll be glad to do the video. And if I don't, then there's one more thing I'll need to be looking for uh, to add to my collection. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. We're trying to put out content about a couple times a week. And until next time, my friends, keep rolling 20s.